Hello, a little bit of sunshine, a fair bit of rain and often some gusty winds. It's a typical late October week. The rain, first of all, watch how the rainfall totals will build up over the course of the working week. Nowhere immune from some wet weather, some useful rain, of course, across central and eastern parts of England, where it has been very dry, but the heaviest rain uh, most likely in the west, particularly across northwest Scotland, over the hills and mountains here. But um, yeah, spells of rain coming and going throughout the week. And when that's the case, you can be pretty confident that low pressure will be never too far away. And also, you can be reasonably confident that the jet stream is close by to the UK and reasonably active, because that will be pushing the weather systems and the weather fronts across the UK. The isobar is always close together as well, suggesting that it will at times be fairly blustery, particularly later this week, as this feature develops an intense area of low pressure, looking likely to move to the west of the Republic of Ireland, but lots of isobars on the charts and more weather fronts springing more wet and windy weather through as we head towards the end of the week. OK, let's put some detail on day by day and we'll rewind the clock. First weather system travelling south Monday night, lingering across southern counties of England. So it could be a bit of a grey day here, quite a, a narrow band of rain and drizzle. Further north, there'll be some showers for western Scotland, Northern Ireland, a few getting into northern England. Quite windy too, particularly early on over the uh, Pennines. But from a good part of northeast England, much of North Wales, much of the Midlands, East Anglia, it's a fine day on Tuesday. Dry, bright. A little breezy, but with some sunny spells. And um, we've lost that northerly wind that brought the chill at the end of last week and into the weekend. And so with the winds back to the west, temperatures will be back, for most of us, close to the average. So maybe creeping into the uh, low to maybe mid-teens across the south. Still cold air in place across northern Scotland, so single figures likely here. Now, as we go through Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning, we've got uh, a couple of areas to watch out for. This area of low pressure bringing some showers into the northwest and this little wiggling, waving weather front. Now, these waves, as they're known, always give us meteorologists a few headaches there. Uh, never easy to pin down. So where the rain is on Wednesday, it could be a little further north, it could be a little further south. But generally speaking, for much of the Midlands, South Wales, Southern England and East Anglia, Wednesday's a grey day with outbreaks of rain. Maybe something a bit brighter developing over North Wales. And there'll be a sweet spot in between those weather systems where much of the day is dry and fine perhaps over northern England, but there'll be plenty of showers still to come in across Scotland and Northern Ireland. Cold air still in place across northern Scotland, so some snow over the tops of the mountains in the showers here in single-digit temperatures. Further south, uh, with more cloud and with the outbreaks of rain, it'll be a cooler day Wednesday compared to Tuesday, struggling to get into the teens in most places here. Now that little wave should be out of the way on Wednesday night and then eyes down to the southwest for this next developing system that we saw earlier. Thankfully intensifying well away from the UK but it is approaching and will bring some wet and windy weather for sure but it, it's not really here until later on Thursday so there's a bit of a ridge. A bump in the isobars there, ridge of high pressure, which means it'll be a fine start to Thursday. It also means it'll be a cold start to Thursday. Temperatures widely in towns and cities well down into single digits and a frost likely in uh, many rural areas. So yes, a chilly start to Thursday. Could be some fog around too where the winds are light across parts of Scotland in particular. But there'll still be a few showers across the far north of Scotland. For many, though, Thursday should be a sparkling start, plenty of blue sky around. But here comes that weather system increasing the cloud in the west. Some rain coming into southwest England, Wales, and then later Northern Ireland. And these areas also feeling the winds starting to pick up too. It'll be a chilly start. It'll be quite late in the day before we start to see the temperatures getting up into the uh, teens. But I say for many, it's a fine bright day on Thursday. And then that weather system we saw earlier continues its track northwards. Those weather fronts will take rain across most areas Thursday night and into Friday. And look at the ice bars really squeezing together there across the Republic of Ireland especially. So we do need to watch this low pressure system. The ice bars Close together, though, right across the UK, too. So a breezy Halloween. Spells of rain crossing Scotland and Northern Ireland. There'll then be a few showers for England and Wales, but there should still be some dry and bright weather on Friday, too. And that wind has swung round, coming up from the south, so bringing milder air. So with a bit of sunshine, Friday, we could see highs of 15, 16 degrees across parts of the south and east. But it'll feel cooler when the showers come along and feeling cooler, especially around western coast. 
with that potentially very gusty wind in place too. That system tries to move out of the way as we head into the weekend, and then we need to look down to the south because there is potentially something else just spinning up here, and that could bring some further wet and windy weather as we head into the weekend. Want to keep an eye, want to track. We'll be doing that, obviously, and you can do that too by following us on social media. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, well, why not hit subscribe?